back again. So we've had a decent run here with the Spark, but we've run into a lot of issues. There's been problems with quick shots not working or gesture mode kind of being kind of crazy and whatever. So there is a new update from DJI. It is the 600 firmware update for the Spark. Now there is a threat out there that if you don't update, your Spark won't fly after September 1st. I know there's a lot of people who like to stomp their feet and get all angry about that. It sucks, but that's how it is. And DJI is claiming that it is for safety issues. And so that's why you have to update your Spark. And it also looks like they've pulled the ability to downgrade your Spark firmware off of the, the uh, DJI Assistant 2 software. So once you go to 600, there's no going back, but you also need to go to it in order to update. So supposedly DJI has updated, they added support for G DJI goggles. And the big thing is they've optimized the palm launch. So when you set up and you're trying to do gesture control, battery management because there's been reports of sparks flying around and then randomly flying out of the sky or not flying I guess smashing into the ground and it seems like there's some sort of a battery error that was going on with that and the last thing is DJI did acknowledge the fact that there was issues with the quick shot menu for droney helix and it just wasn't responding the way it was supposed to so I've updated to 600 on the spark I updated the controller as well because it was saying there's an update for that and you also do need to upgrade the batteries or update them so I'm gonna walk you through that so check out the other video for how to update the battery on the spark so we'll go through that and then obviously we'll try out firmware 600 and hopefully we have some good results here and the spark finally starts working hundred percent the way it's supposed to be we're off to a decent start here and everything is working Seems to be anyway. Back and forth, seems pretty responsive. So now that that's up and going, let's try out some of these modes and find out if this is actually working or have we just been overpromised again. And we'll go over here to our quick shot menu. Perfect. Drag a box around us. Okay. Now hit droney and let's just try something really simple. So a very, very short droney mission here and hit back and droney again, just to make sure that it's saved and claims that it does. So we'll hit go and wow, look at that percentage. It's climbing pretty quickly and I did tell it to only go 15 meters and it looks like it might've actually listened to that. So, and not only that, look at that. The spark is coming back home. All right, not gonna lie here. I'm, I'm pretty excited about seeing these features all working smoothly. Of course, we've only tested one. So let's go ahead and uh, test out Droney one more time, but this time we'll do further. So Droney, and last time we did 15. So let's try, uh, let's try 100 just to that way make sure that we're seeing any differences here. And it does look like the max on Droney is 120. So let's just set it for 75 just to make our lives a little bit easier here. Hit back and double check, did save. And we'll hit go. So this time we're doing the Droney, but we're doing 75 meters instead of 15. And based on the percentage, it is climbing, but it's also uh, going a lot slower than it was before because we're going further so it's going to take longer. Oh, and not only that, the droney mode is actually gaining elevation as well. So I am really happy to see that this is actually working and I, I'm just excited about this. 95, let's see if it actually comes back though. We're almost complete. Wow. So this, not going to lie, I'm pretty excited that Droney anyway does seem to be working and right now the spark is flying right back to us which is supposed to do after the uh, Droney mode finishes so it's flying back I'm I'm impressed I'm really happy right now really happy to see that this is all working so now of course let's definitely try out another mode maybe we'll try out uh, I don't know let's open up the menu here once it gets back Go ahead and trace a box over us. And let's do circle this time. I've got clear all around me. Okay. 
and uh, you can tell of course a direction and I believe in my last test it actually did do what it's supposed to do where it would uh, go the direction that you told it to and looks like it is coming around us and the other thing that I'm noticing is right now anyway, it's doing a really good job keeping us right here in the center of the shot. We had issues before, uh, yeah, let's see a little bit there, where it wasn't really keeping us directly in the center and it was kind of moving all over. So it looked like this time it is circling us, um, but it wasn't quite perfect, but it did get a, a circle on us and we are kind of close. And not only that, we're also kind of doing a larger vehicle here so let me go back a little bit further this time and we'll try uh, come up here so we'll try circle again but this time we're a little bit further away because I'm using a larger vehicle for person it might have been a little bit different circle and let's just try clockwise this time just to see what happens here and we'll go, go and it looks like it is moving the correct direction, and right now it is keeping us in there. Not a perfect circle, but again, because it's tracking the vehicle, I'm not sure, you know, it looks like sometimes it's having trouble deciding what exactly it's following. It's got that kind of center point there, but it did get a little bit closer here. So still not perfect, but last time I couldn't even get a full complete circle in without it, you know, canceling and, and giving an error. So I, still definitely better than it was before. All right, so now let's try out circle us again. Um, let's try out Helix because Helix is a really, really cool shot if you pull it off. And it does also give distance and direction, which is nice because before it would go in a huge arc way further than it, it should have been basically. So let's try a smaller one and Helix and hit go and find out what it does. All right, so coming back and around and we're getting a visitor. Now the other cool thing is the percentage is working and it's not going nearly as fast as it was before because before with the older update it would start doing this helix thing and it would it was booking it when it was circling around and so it would end up really 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 far away i'm talking a thousand plus feet assuming it would actually complete everything and it looks like with this it's actually circling us and it's kind of getting further away so that was a smaller smaller helix here. Unfortunately, I've got some trees and power lines nearby-ish. So let me see if I can maybe switch that up just a little bit and we'll get uh, a larger helix circle here. But otherwise, still, I'm super excited right now that everything is working significantly smoother than it was before. All right, and go and circle us again and hit helix again but this time let's do uh 50 meters just to you know get a change here and we'll switch the direction as well so helix 50 meters and we're going counterclockwise hit go and take a look see what happens here so it is circling and let's find out if it ends up going further away and again, I'm really excited with the fact that the drone is not moving 20 miles an hour or whatever speed it was going before because last time it was just going so insanely quick that the drone, one, had trouble keeping up with the tracking and two, it ended up really far away. So it looks like this time is working a little bit. Now, I haven't checked the exact, uh, I haven't been paying attention to the distance and the height and everything, but distance you can see is increasing. So I would say that it is actually listening. And I'd mentioned before I did 50 meters and it got up to about 150-ish feet. So it does look like that is either, you know, 100% working or working very well to the point of it's actually doing what it's supposed to. Now, the final thing is going to be rocket. So let me head over a little bit closer, come down, 
get that camera pointed up and we got low battery so this will be the last one which is good because we're now on low battery so go ahead and select us we'll hit rocket and now if you recall last time oh aircraft you well okay back up all right if you'll recall last time I did rocket, the distance, uh, the height that it would actually go was working. So hopefully it's still working. Let's do 20 meters just to keep this short with the low battery. So rocket and we'll go 21 meters and hit go. And there it goes up. Looks like it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Kind of, wasn't super smooth, but we'll check the uh, raw footage once that's all complete and height wise was up to about 60 so I would say that with this latest firmware update I'm I'm excited that it's actually working so let let me bring this sucker in and we'll talk uh, real quick about it and hopefully do some more tests and should be all set there you have it the new firmware for the spark 600 does seem to be working. I haven't tried out gesture control, that'll be coming up. But as far as the quick shot menu and the modes, everything seems to be working really well. The shots themselves, I think could be a little bit smoother, but the fact that everything is working and, and as you saw from the footage, it didn't stop halfway through or partway through like it was doing before. It actually listened to the distances that I was giving it. Now I don't know if it was 100% spot on with the distances, but it was doing pretty well. When I said 20 meters, it wasn't going that far. When I said 50 or 100, it was going a lot further. So I would say we're getting really close to the Spark being 100% dialed in. And if anything right now, the Spark is, is fully functional and working. The only thing that I'm not sure on right now would be the gesture control. But again, that'll be coming up. But as far as the quick shot update, it looks like that's working. So I'm really excited to say that the Spark is now operational. You're not gonna be running into the issues. Of course, I've only had one battery flight here, but we'll find out obviously as we do more, but off to a really good start with the fact that it, it worked perfectly uh, this first time out after testing it. So awesome job, DJI. Finally, uh, you fixed everything and should be really good now to get the spark out there and actually have it listening to the distances that we're asking of it to to do basically so of course if you like the video hit subscribe if you have any other questions or comments comment below and let me know if there's something else you need me to test and of course the gesture control is coming up as far as if that got updated and how well it listens to that so stay tuned and go out there update your sparks don't complain about the required update and have fun.